Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining in for this morning session again. So good to see you all and you have such beautiful homes. <laughs> and today is day four of being the change, really embodying the changes that we wish to see in the outside world. So today is all about authenticity, living authentically and how that really impacts our life. Again, as always, it's a big theme and, and I just want to touch gently on it, but I think two of the ways where it's really important and where it really shows up for us, whether or not we're able to be authentic and really being ourselves, is that as a human being, it's incredibly important that we allow ourselves to really be ourselves. And so, so often when we get a new job or, you know, we get a new friend or we in circumstances that are new to us, quite often we're not fully ourselves. We're not fully authentic because we feel a little scared. So then what starts to happen is we start to change our ways of being. We start to change our habits. We start to either shine our light or dim our light. But quite often we don't really fully allow ourselves to really be who we are. And so that's one way where it can show up when also where it's just so important to really be ourselves. And another way is that another um, fact of us as human beings to really feel safe and to feel happy in life is to have a deep sense of belonging. Now you're only ever gonna find those people where you feel that you belong to, you're only ever gonna find your tribe if you are fully as authentically and as beautifully as you can be at that moment in time, if you can be yourself. So i.e., if you want to find people that really get you, you have to show all that you are. You have to be as authentic with yourself as you can be. And that also means, especially in those new situations when you're meeting new people, new job, new relationship, new hobby, new passion, even with your old relationships, be as authentically you as you can be because there's only one you at all times there will only ever be one of you and the world needs you just as you are. That means with everything that you are. So today the word is authenticity and I would like you just to take a little moment out here, you can close your eyes, just to ask yourself, how do I show up authentically? When do I feel like I can really be myself? And when you're asking yourself that, ask yourself, is it when you're with your, when you're with your friends? Which friends allows you or brings out the most you? <laughs> uh, maybe with work colleagues, which ones of your work colleagues really embodies and embraces everything that you are? Where do you feel that you can be the most you? When do you feel the most free? Is it when you're at work, when you're alone? Is it when you're, when you're with your partner, or with family members? What people brings out the most and the best you, you can be. The you that allows yourself to be loved and to be helped by others. The you that shines your light freely and who isn't afraid to, you know, um, shine too brightly. The you that isn't scared of asking of help. Where and when in your life do you feel that you are living your most authentic truth? And so with this today, maybe just choose one challenge. If there's one part of your life, one person where you feel like you can't really fully shine your light or where you can't really fully ask for help or fully be everything that you are, perhaps just as a little exercise today, allow yourself to contact that person and share something, share a part of you that you would normally never share and just know that however, regardless of however they respond, their respond is only, especially if it's a contrasting respond, their respond will only ever show you that you are fully on your path, not off your path. Their respond will make it very clear to you whether or not they should really be in your pack, they should really be part of your tribe. Hmm, so I know it's quite a deep one today, but just taking a moment, asking yourself, where, when and how do you show up authentically for yourself? And remember, we all need to belong. We all have a deep urge to belong. But you will only ever truly find those people that has the same vibration, the same energy as you, if you start to fully embody all that you are, all of your colors, the good, the bad, the ugly, everything that we have classified as different energies. Allow yourself to shine. Allow yourself to be seen, to be heard, and to be touched exactly as you are, for who you are, is what the world needs now more than ever before. And then you're just placing the hands together in front of your heart. Take a moment now to really thank yourself for embodying these changes every single day, a new change, 
every single day as you are changing as all of us are changing the whole planet is changing for the better and this is why we do this work take a deep breath in and a deep breath out and another breath in and another breath out and just taking a moment now imagine a beautiful light coming from the stars pouring down all over you through the crown emanating and illuminating every single cell in your body filling yourself up with brand new energy this is a new day a new morning a new opportunity to embody all that you are to live authentically and to stand proud in your truth and to know that every day when you show yourself more authentically the right people will be attracted to you just as you will authentically be attracted to them it can be no other way and from there gently placing the hands down to the earth let's just bow down to the heart as always just rolling the head from side to side just finding your way into your body today noticing how the body is feeling noticing how your overall mood is feeling next time left ear comes to left shoulder just hold it there walking your left fingertips away take a nice side stretch right arm up and over just breathing into that right lung finding nice long space here take another breath in and another breath out one more inhale and exhale looking down to your left hand let's just roll forward and all the way over to the other side so allowing right ear to come down to right shoulder now maybe walking with right fingertips away sending the left arm up and over your head finding a beautiful side stretch here through the whole of the left lung taking another breath in and another breath out one more inhale as you exhale let's roll forward and all the way over to the other side inhaling here exhale and then gently just come all the way back up into seated just roll your shoulders back and down a few times that's it beautiful send your arms up into the sky deep breath in exhale hands to your heart <sighs> wonderful and then from there let's find our way straight up into our downward facing dog today just start by bending one knee at a time just finding your way into your body start to walk your feet all the way up towards your hands coming into a forward fold here bend your knees generously grab hold of opposite elbow and just start to slow your breath down imagine that you're releasing any residue of negativity any residue of the night any dreams anything that took place yesterday just let it go out through the body out through the crown into the earth take another two nice deep breaths here one more inhale one more exhale release your hands down roll all the way up into standing and roll your shoulders back and down beautiful from here today start at the center of your mat I invite you to bend your knees now close your eyes and just start to circle your hips to the right so we're just getting into some very deeply seated joints here the hips quite particularly gets very tight so just circling your hips to the right doesn't matter how it looks no one is watching just close your eyes there we go and then start to circle your hips to the left and again nice big juicy circles just gently allowing your body to come into this day inviting in fresh new energy especially to any parts of your body or your mind that sometimes gets a little tight and then create some circular movements almost like a figure eight taking your feet a little bit wider just creating nice big juicy circles of figure eight wonderful and then from there come back into the center sending your arms to the sky deep breath in as you exhale fall forward and down let it go <sighs> inhale up exhale we release <sighs> inhale fresh new energy coming up exhale let it go for you oh. <sighs> one more inhale and exhale <sighs> inhale come all the way up exhaling hands to your heart beautiful and then from there start to walk to the front of your mat lift the prayer high to the sky deep breath in and as you exhale let's bow down forward and down let it go inhale lengthen to a flat back exhale we release <sighs> inhale come all the way up into a flat back exhale let it all the way go 
Extend your right leg back now. We're just going to come straight away up into a high lunge. So reach your arms high. Tuck your tailbone under and micro bend your back knee and then tuck your tailbone under a little bit more. So you're feeling a nice stretch through the whole of that right hip flexor. Now once the hips are nice and low, send your left hip back, right hip forward. Engage your core and start to straighten that back leg. And then send your arms up. There you go. <laughs> Very nice. And now find your breath. Inhale one. Exhale, inhale for two, exhale. Now start to embody your own authenticity. How can you really embody and embrace all that you are? So see if you could reach a little taller, see if you could lower those hips a little bit deeper. And even if it gets to the point where you're like, that left fire's on fire, Josie. As long as there's no sharp shooting pains, you're all good. Find that strength. You have so much more strength than what you give yourself credit for. One more breath here. Go ahead, open up, warrior two. Right heel in and down, opening up. As you inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. And again, inhale, we bring it up. Exhale, take it down. Good work, you guys. Inhale, taking it up. Exhale, back down. Two more, take it up. And back down. Last one, all the way up, reaching tall, all the way back down. Flip your left palm to the sky, reverse warrior, reaching away from that left knee now. And again, that sense of really opening up through the left side body, breathing fresh new energy into that left lung. One more breath here. Beautiful. Then from there, go ahead, windmill the hands either side of your front foot. Lower the right knee down, send your arms high, opening up through your heart once again, going a little deeper into that right hip flexor. Beautiful, staying here, sending your arms out maybe, taking your hands to the back of that back thigh, or maybe bend your right knee, grab hold of the outside of your foot and open up for your heart. So many different variations, just take the one that works for you. Squeeze your core, whatever you're doing. Find some nice deep breaths here. Once again, really embodying your authentic self, shining your light as brightly as possible. One more breath here. And then go ahead, release that back foot if you had it. Let's start to send the hips back. So just sending the hips all the way back and all the way forward. Two more, take it back. And let's come forward. Next one, let's go back and hold it here. Maybe come on to your fingertips. Inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, we go a little bit deeper. And again, inhale to lengthen. Exhale to deepen. Two more, inhale. And exhale, gorgeous. Last one, inhale. And exhale. From here, let's come all the way forward. Tuck the back toes under. Lift your hips. This time, bend your back knee and step forward into that Uttanasana forward fold. Nut your head for yes and give your head a little shake for no. Bend your knees, roll up the way up to standing, roll your shoulders back and down. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart. Take the weight into the left foot. Bring your right knee up into your chest. Stay here. Or if it's within your practice, right arm back, left hand to outside side of your right leg. Or even grab hold of the right outer toe and extend your leg out in front of you. So wherever you are, just finding that breath. Good work. Take another three breaths here. Beautiful, you guys. Two more. Last one, that's it. Let's look forward. And then gently bring your right knee into your chest. Give it a hug. And exhale, let it go. From here, inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, fold forward and down. Inhale, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, release down. One more. Inhale, lengthen, flat back. Exhale, re-release. Hmm. From here, step your left leg far back. And let's come straight away up into that high lunge. You're reaching your arms high. Then bend your left knee, tuck your tailbone under. Right hip back, left hip forward. From there, keeping hips nice and low, core is engaged. Start to extend that left knee back. So you're feeling a gorgeous stretch through the whole of the left hip flexor. Send your arms high now, find your breath. Inhale, exhale, bend that front knee a little bit more. That's it, inhale, exhale. Take another three breaths here. 
keep expanding and keep just exploring. Could I go a little bit deeper? And when you think you can't, you probably still can. There we go. One more. Now from there, let's open up into a warrior two. Turn your left heel in and down, right arm forward. Beautiful, right knee above your right heel. As you inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. And again, we take it up and back down. Inhale, bring that energy up. Go back down, lower that right knee, you've got this. Take two more. <sighs> Last one, inhale. And exhale, look at your right palm, flip it to the sky. Exhale, reverse warrior. So opening up through that right lung now. Keep bending that front knee a little bit more. Two more expansive breaths. You're really expressing your truth. Expanding in all directions. One more. And let's windmill the arms either side of your front foot now. Lower your left knee down. Opening up through your heart. So going even deeper into that left hip flexor now. Opening up. Breathing here. I'll go ahead and extend your arms out sideways. Oh, finally grabbing hold of that outer left foot if that feels good and sending that left foot back. Only take this variation if that actually works for you. Wherever you are, slow your breath right down. Go a little bit deeper. Find a little more length. Find that mental strength. You've got this. One more. Go ahead, place your hands either side of your front foot now. Let's start to send your hips back. So take it back and take it forward. And again, back and forward. Last one, take it back and forward. This time when we go back, we're going to hold it here. Come on to fingertips, inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, we deepen. <sighs> inhale to lengthen. Exhale, release like a wave. One more inhale. And exhale, let it go. <sighs> Gorgeous. From here, let's come forward. Tuck the back toes under, straighten that left knee. Look forward, bend your left knee, and then just step it forward. Inhale, lengthen to a flat back. Exhale, folding forward and down. On your inhale, come all the way up to standing, arms to the sky. Exhaling, hands to your heart. Take a breath in. Exhale, arms by your side. Let it go. Take the weight into the right foot now. Lift your left knee up. Maybe give it a nice big hug. Stay here. Or right hand to the outer left leg. Left arm back. Staying here. Or slide the right fingers to the outer left toes. And find that beautiful twist. Keep finding your breath. Keep sending your left toes forward and your left fingertips back. Keep lifting up and out through the crown of the head. One more breath here. Then start to look forward. Bring your left knee into your chest. Give it a nice big hug. And as you exhale, let it go. Inhale, arms to the sky. Exhale, hands to your heart. Now take a moment. Just close your eyes. And just feel your heartbeat. How would it feel to really be seen? Spread your toes wide. How would it feel to really be heard whenever you spoke? How would it feel to always ask for help whenever you need it? How would it feel to really attract the right people that are right for you at this moment in time into your life? Allow your heart to open. Allow your feet to be rooted and the crown and the mind to be soft. Right now, you are attracting all that you need on all levels into your life. And see that beautiful positive energy coming from all directions, north and south and east and west. And bringing it right back in here, into your heart, right now. Take another breath in. And as you exhale, let any part of you that is doubting your own worth, let it go, arms by your side. <sighs> Bend your knees, give your body a little shake. Just gently releasing any cobwebs, anything that is no longer serving you. And then as you inhale, send your arms to the sky. Exhale, fall forward and down. <sighs> inhale, lengthen to a flat back. As you exhale, this time placing the hands down, stepping back into a downward facing dog. Take three deep breaths. Inhale, one. Exhale. <sighs> inhale for two. Exhale. One more inhale. 
and exhale. And from here, lowering the knees down to the earth, walking your hands back to your knees, coming up. We're opening up into camel. Hands onto the top of your buttocks, walk your knees a little closer. Push your hips forward, lift your chest. Push your hips forward, lift your chest. Stay here, this is perfect. Flip your fingertips to the skies, another variation. Maybe go a little bit deeper, but the main thing is, look at my hips, they're not back here. You want them to be over your knees, and then you lift through your chest. You can keep tucking your chin to your chest like I'm doing right now to protect your neck, or send your right arm to the sky, send your right hand down, keep pushing your hips forward, left arm up, left down to the left um, angle. Keep looking forward and maybe look to the sky. Now find your breath, open up through your heart, shining your light, living unauthentic, unauthentically in your own light. Hmm. Two more breaths here. Wherever you are, hands onto the top of your buttocks, squeeze your glutes, come all the way up, and then gently just come to seated. Let's do a little toe stretch. Let's tuck your toes under. It's so healthy to stretch the back of the feet, but most of us are like, ah, it's so intense. You won't stay here for too, too long, my lovelies. Make sure even the little toes are tucked under, palms facing up. Close your eyes, inhale. Exhale. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last one, deep breath in. Deep breath out. Beautiful. As you inhale, send your arms to the sky. As you exhale, hands to your heart. Now from here, hands towards the long end of the mat, extending your left leg out, so I'm opposite you, you guys. From there, go ahead and send your left arm to the sky, open up through your heart. And as you exhale, feed it underneath your right arm. And again, go ahead, inhale, send it all the way up. Exhale, extend it underneath that right arm, nice and deep, beautiful twist. One more, inhale. And exhale, keep it there now. And see if you could send your left, right arm to the sky, maybe placing the right fingertips onto the inner thigh of your left thigh, if that works for you, or just placing your right hand onto your sacrum. And in any case, see if you can push your left hand into the floor more, so you start to open up through that right shoulder, going deeply into this twist, plus this inner thigh stretch. One more breath here. Go ahead, extend your right arm to the sky. Place it all the way back down to the floor. Inhale, left arm up. And as you exhale, just place that left hand down. Well done. Let's go to the other side. So extending your right leg out now. And let's go to the other side. So inhale, right arm up. As you exhale, feed it underneath your left. And again. Inhale all the way up, opening up through that body. Exhale, releasing it down. Let it go. Last one, inhale, take it up. And as you exhale, take it all the way down. We're going to hold it there. Stay here as you are. This is all really great. But go ahead and send your left arm to the sky, placing left hand to sacrum, or sliding that left hand all the way to the inner right hip crease, to almost to the inner right thigh. See if you can send your left shoulder back and down, pushing your right hand into the floor a little bit more, really twisting your heart and your chest to the sky. One more breath here, exhale out, sending your left arm to the sky, place it down, inhale right arm up, and as you exhale come all the way back down. So we're going to finish with quite an intense inner thigh stretch, take it easy my loves. Time, start to come into frog, so your ankles are going to be in below your knees, and you may be here and that's more than enough, maybe coming down onto the forearms, maybe sliding yourself all the way down towards the floor. But remember, as always, if this one doesn't really work for you, you're welcome to come to seat it and just take the soles of the feet together instead. That's a nice um, alternative. Otherwise, allow yourself just for a moment to become really still. Just close your eyes, feel into that stretch. And whatever you're feeling, as long as there's no sharp shooting pains, you're fine, you're safe. It is good for you to open up. It is good for you to enter into those spaces that have felt tight. It is good for you to be seen. Allow yourself to be here 
Just feeling those energies, gently releasing from your body, gently releasing any fear. So right now we're working with the energy of the kidneys meridian, the urinary system, the bladders. And this has got everything to do with fear. So right now we're gently releasing any fear that's been held in the body, any fear that's been accumulating in your mind. Just breathe into that stretch and let go of that fear. And know that that fear is no longer serving you. That it is time for you to shine your light. To be seen. To be heard. And to attract your tribe. Take another breath in here. Big sigh out. <sighs> Wonderful. Now very slowly, maybe bring your feet closer together. Walking your hands up. Just take your time here, as gracefully as possible, start to come out. I know, it's quite an intense one. And from here, my lovelies, coming towards the front of your mat, give yourself a huge embrace. Really nice big hug, you've done so well. And then from there, slowly roll all the way down, nice and easy. Or if it feels good, even just rock and roll a few times, just to massage the spine, gently giving the nervous system a little boost, a little wake up here. Let's do one more. Hmm. And then this time, let's just come all the way to lie down. Bringing the knees into the chest. Give yourself a huge, big squeeze. And as you exhale, extending your right leg down and follow it by the left. Send your arms over your head today and be in more of like a star shape. Take a breath in. And as you exhale, let it go. Inhaling, let exhale go inhaling let exhale go and then just for the next few moments let go of your practice let go of what you enjoyed what you may not have enjoyed let go of what is to come allow yourself to simply be right here right now just breathing in every single inhale, filling yourself up with more and more authenticity, the courage and the strength and the wisdom to know that the world needs you just as you are right here, right now with everything that you are. And that the more strongly you shine your light with all the different colors of your light, <laughs> the more easily and gracefully you will attract the right people into your tribe the more you will feel the freedom to be you. Now, as always, if you have more time this morning, I really invite you to stay here for another five or ten minutes. But otherwise, start to move feet, move toes, move your legs, run your thumbs across your fingertips. Take a beautiful, nice big stretch through the whole of the body. Mm, bring your knees to your chest and let's just roll over onto the right hand side for a single breath, breathing in and breathing out. Go ahead, place your left hand down and slowly coming all the way back up into your seated position, just how we started today. Allow your sitting bones to root you down, finding that firm foundation below you, reaching the crown of the head towards the sky, palms facing up. And then today, extend your arms out to the side. Really reach beyond the edges of your body, reach beyond the edges of your physical body. Reach up through the crown of the head, and root yourself down into the earth. And now keep this sensation, what you're feeling in your heart right now, what you're feeling in your body right now, which hopefully is openness and freedom and love and joy and passion. Keep all of this beautiful, authentic energy with you throughout your day. Meet the world with open arms and an open heart, fully sharing everything that you are. Send your arms to the sky. 
And as you exhale, bringing your hands back in, into the heart. We're going to finish with a single breath. Inhale. And as we exhale, let it go, bowing down. The light within me recognizes and celebrates the light within all of you. Have an incredible day by making it so. Namaste, everyone. Thank you.